will go down by 200 million. The contributions by individuals through their income tax will go up by about four and a half billion dollars. And our contributions through employment insurance will go up uh, by about 2.7 billion dollars. So you can get a sense here that this is a government which is, we've seen steadily the, the, the contribution from the corporate sector going down and the contribution from individuals uh, going up. And uh, that I think is, it speaks really to where the, where the priorities of the government are. Senator Eggleton has been spending a lot of time recently talking about inequality and poverty and talking about what's really happening to, uh, to, to our country. And it was the Conference Board of Canada, not a radical organization, but the, an organization that in fact represents many of the largest companies in the, in the country, which pointed out a couple of very critical things. First of all, inequality in Canada is growing. By any statistical test you apply, by any measure of poverty that you apply, the level of inequality in Canada is rising. And our tax system is, is proving to be much less effective than it used to be at reducing that level of inequality. To give you one modest statistical example, it used to be that the, 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 the highest quintile, the highest 20% of income, used to be after tax, used to be seven times higher than the lowest 20%. It's now gone to nine, nine times higher. So that's an indication of where this gap has grown. And I think we can see it all around us in our cities, we can see it in our failure to fund transit properly, in our failure to really fund new programs, in the fact that we still don't have universal childcare across the country. There are many things which Canadians aspire to which are still not there. And that's what makes the reform of our tax system such a critical issue for the Liberal Party, and why I've asked Scott Bryson to have a look at what we can do to make our tax system, at one and the same time, more innovative and more helpful to the creation of wealth, and secondly, more fair. It's a tough challenge, but we have to look at all the aspects of the tax system to make sure that we're doing that. And there's certainly nothing in the budget which deals with that problem.